Hi, welcome back to Celebrating Act Two and our special series of videos on Medicare, healthcare, and uh, insurance. Um, this is part two. If, if you've watched part one, you got a quick overview of what we're going to be doing. And uh, you met our guest, our special expert guest, Aaron Zolbrod. Yes, and uh, uh, this time, uh, Aaron, who is uh, not only a, a licensed uh, uh, insurance agent who uh, specializes in the medical insurance field, as opposed to auto and all the rest of them, uh, but he also uh, has a, a weekly column in the, uh, what's it, the Pittsburgh Gazette, we'll get there in a second, uh, and um, uh, just as a font of knowledge on uh, what's involved in Ins medical insurance in general, but uh, to this uh, series is on Medicare because it's so confusing. And um, uh, Aaron has a great way of making it understandable. Hi, Aaron. Hi, guys. Part Aaron, two, here uh, we go. Uh, <laughs> good to see you again. Thanks for doing this. Uh, last time you kind of gave us a, a quick overview and you teased us with getting into Medicare. Um, and you even mentioned the history of Medicare. I'm not sure. Why do we need to know the history of it? Well, it, it has evolved for sure, John, um, especially with the advent of what's called Medicare Advantage plans, which basically is the privatization of Medicare. Um, so, you know, Medicare started in 1965. It was first introduced in supplements aka Medigap policies, which come and kind of fill in the gaps of what Medicare doesn't pay, came shortly thereafter. Um, so that's that's how Medicare got started. It wasn't until 2004 that we got introduced to Part C and D when they started to get introduced. And now they're very woven into the fabric of what we do. Um, you know, uh, people who had Medicare prior to 2004, that's all they knew was supplements. After 2004, when it became crazy complicated, because those parts C and D were introduced, which we're going to talk about here shortly, define those and, and help people understand them. But this is really what caused the confusion, and there's a ton of profit in it for companies, which you know when there's profit to be made, there's going to be, you know, uh, unfortunately, is going to come some, you know, mm, less than scrupulous behavior, maybe I should say. Um, and uh, money can kind of get in the way of things, unfortunately. So that's why it's so important to educate people, honestly, so they can they can really understand a bit more of the decisions that that they're that they're going to be making. Mm. Well, I've been on Medicare for over a dozen years, and I still can't tell you how well, it works. Well, let's break let's down, do that. Break it down for us. Yep. Let's start with original Medicare. Okay, original Medicare is Medicare parts A and B. Period. A is your hospitalization, B is your medical. That's what they take the money out of your social security check to pay for is part B. Um, the standard part B premium right now is 164.90. Um, if you make more than $82,000 as an individual, um, or uh, I think it's 172,000, I'd have to look that up, 172,000 as a married couple, you're gonna pay more for it, okay? But standard is 164.90. So if you are, if you have Medicare only, and this is how I start all my presentations, you've got to understand Medicare first before you're going to understand, you know, supplements and, and advantage plans, which we're going to get into um, in the following, you know, in a, in, in a couple episodes down the road here. But let's just define A and B. A is your hospitalization. If you are hospitalized and you have Medicare only and you're hospitalized for any period of time, up to 60 consecutive days, you're gonna get a bill for $1,600, okay? Um, so it just covers your hospitalization. If you're in a hospital longer than, than um, 60 consecutive days, now it reverts to a per day basis where you'll pay $400 a day for days 61 through 90, and then you'll pay $800 a day for any time spent from 91 days to 150, which is very rare, but does happen. I, I, I know of two clients of mine that years ago uh, in the same actual time frame, the same month, they were both in the hospital for over 100 days. And with just Medicare, if they would have just had Medicare, their bill would have been, you know, 40, 50, 60 thousand um, wow. dollars. And again, that's why we have supplements, and that's why we have Advantage plans to protect people from that. Okay, which we're going to get into. Um, Part B 
is what people utilize the most. This is These are all your outpatient procedures and services. Part B is known as your medical coverage. So these are coverage for doctor visits, blood tests, x-rays, CAT scans, MRIs, um, surgical procedures, um, those who need get cancer, need chemo or radiation, um, who need um, you know, infusion or injection therapy on an outpatient basis. Medicare pays all of that at 80% and it puts us on the hook for the other 20%. Again, the reason why we have supplements and we have advantage plans to you know, limit those costs for people. So that's original Medicare, been around since 1965. Part C and D were introduced back in 2004 um, and five on a, on a, on a really widely uh, introduced. I don't know, you know, you guys probably remember the George um, Bush era when it was okay that they, that, that, that seniors were choosing between eating their food and taking their medicine. Yeah. And that's how part D was born. It was born as, as prices on medications came about, there was no coverage. Now remember original Medicare has no prescription drug coverage, none. So right. back prior to 2004, people were on their own uh, yeah. to pay for their prescription drugs. And that's why part D was born. Uh, was to help seniors pay for medications. Now, unfortunately, um, really, in my opinion, that this is the the, the ticket for for big pharma to start charging ridiculous amounts, because you know the burden of the cost was no longer on the patient; it became a burden of of Medicare Part D and of the taxpayers, and it's kind of gotten out of control since then. Unfortunately, um, you know. But it is what it is. You know, we've talked about that in the first series, how my concern about big pharma, we're going to talk about it in the last episode that we do. Um, but that's how part D came about. Part C, let me explain what part C is. Part C is your right to privatize your Medicare. Your right to choose a private insurance company to basically take over for Medicare, so to speak, to pay in place of Medicare. So I just explained how Medicare A and B work, right? Where if you're hospitalized, Medicare pays everything but $1,600. And if you need outpatient services, Medicare pays all but 20%. Well, if you choose Part C, if you choose an Advantage plan, which are HMOs and PPOs, you're choosing to have Medicare stop doing what I just said. They stop paying 80% of your outpatient services. They stop paying your hospitalization and instead, they're paying the private insurance company of your choice. Um, now, they have to be approved in, to, 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 to provide these products by Medicare. But you choose one, and then Medicare, instead of paying the majority of your bills, Medicare actually pays the private insurance company of your choice around $12,000 a year. And they're paying them to take on the burden of becoming your one and only insurance company. At that point, you can literally put your Medicare card in a drawer because Medicare's done. They, they're paying the private insurance company to take over and you'll have one card for everything. You'll have one card for your medical and you'll have one card for your prescription coverage because Advantage plans encompass Part D in them. Okay, so there's two ways to get Part D. One, if you have a supplement, you purchase what's called a standalone prescription plan, Part D prescription plan, or two, if you choose an Advantage plan and you can't have both, you can't have supplements and Advantage plans, one or the other, if you take an Advantage plan, then that Advantage plan is going to provide that, that Part D coverage. Um, and so that is basically the history and how those four letters work. Um, you know, we're going to get into in the next episode, we're going to get into, um, you know, the two different types of, of, of supplements and the differences in coverage. That's what we're going to talk about on the next episode and then the two episodes after the pros and cons of supplements and the pros and cons of Advantage plans. And, and um, especially when it comes to Advantage plans, there are a lot of trap doors and oh, yeah. a lot of important differences that people really need to understand. Yeah. Hmm. And that's navigating those differences is really where you come in because yes. I got to tell you, I could not handle that. So I'm going to tell you guys, you know, when I meet people for the first time, who have advantage plans and they're coming to see me, right? Or coming to see another of, of the agents and they present to us that, you know, hey, what are you doing for your insurance right now? And they say, I have XYZ HMO. 
And I'll say, do you know that's not a supplement? And they'll look at me, what, what do you mean it's not a supplement? Do you know that's not designed to pay the portion of the bill that Medicare doesn't pay? It's not designed to pick up the 20%. And they look at me, so what, what, what then, then what is it supposed to do? And it's never been explained to them, not right. properly. Hmm. And, and somebody who, who sold them this, uh, uh, brokers, another agent, or if they called a company directly, they're not being told that those two, that there's differences and they just don't know. And it's kind of like, you know, we call tissue, facial tissue, tissue uh, Kleenex, right? And we call wrenches, channel locks. Um, we don't call, you know, that different pliers, there's different brands of sure. Kleenex, right? But we just have always called it a Kleenex. When it comes to Medicare, we know that name supplement. And so that's kind of become, even though 50% of people don't have supplements, in people's minds, it's still a supplement and it's very important. Sure. It's, it's the most important piece of information somebody on Medicare needs to have is, is the, the understanding of, of the two types of plans and how they differ. Right. So well, also coming coming into coming into uh, uh, the end of the year, you always uh, hear uh, that you have this uh, open enrollment period where you can change right. plans and stuff like that. And that's like only 82 percent true. Uh, because of correct, you, it, but I'm gonna. I don't want to seal the thunder. But we're going to take in the next episode a deep dive into uh, supplements and advantage plans, the differences, the serious differences that most people have never even yeah. thought of or heard of, even if they're relatively happy with these plans. That's correct. Good. I'm looking forward to that. Me too, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.